Hi, my name is Aaron Gertz, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Ash Clinical News. As part of our on-site coverage here for the Ash uh, Annual Meeting for 2022, I'm joined by Dr. Vilkins, uh, who's going to discuss his abstract looking at combinations of azacitidine and venetoclax uh, for patients with leukemia. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. All right, so your abstract was wonderful. Uh, I really enjoyed reading it, and I do think it's really important for practice to get this data out there. Uh, and so you looked at the combination of azacitidine and venetoclax, which is used very often for acute leukemia, but you looked at patients who had very short durations of venetoclax as part of that. So what inspired you and your colleagues to do this study? The, the azaven combination is a, is a real progress, um, but uh, the, the toxicity remains very problematic. And um, so our problem, I think, uh, at the beginning was to, we, we have some patients who have AML and they are very frail mm -hmm. due to uh, comorbidities due to uh, concomitant and cancer disease and uh, the problem was okay if we try um, we, we can we try to treat this patient um, with aza van combination and avoid uh, toxicity or limit or limit the toxicity so this this is was the, at the beginning the, the, the main problem and uh, so um, I think we started like this, and to avoid the toxicity, we, we decided to, 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 to reduce the venetoclax exposure based on, uh, on, on different things that we already know about mm -hmm. venetoclax as monotherapy. And, uh, and uh, so the, the first results were very encouraging. So yeah. I think this is the reason why we and other centers um, wanted to continue yeah. like that. And, and certainly I see the toxicity of AIDS and venetoclax every day in my practice. So I, I agree that this is a, a very important issue and, and, and appreciate your guys' looking into things. And so with the patients who received kind of the, the shorter duration of venetoclax along with the azacitidine, um, did it work? Uh, did, it, did you see patients going into remission? Concerning the response, uh, the response rates are highly similar to the uh, Ven Venaza Violet phase 3 oh, trial. Wow. So it's the, the, the overall response rate is a 68%, so it compares f favorably yeah. uh, to the standard dose. So this is a very good point. Another um, issue of the, our work is concerning the toxicity, because the, um, it seems that the toxicity um, after the cycle, during the cycle one, is not so uh, reduced. Mm -hmm. um, half of the patient will have fibrinotropenia, and uh, almost all patients will require transfusion. So it, it could be disappointing. The, I have a, a remark on that. It's because we treated highly frail patients. Yeah. So I, I, I am wondering if um, we use that regimen in more um, fit patient if they will have less toxicity. Yeah. It, it's possible. I'm not sure because I think that um, whatever the dose of venetoclax you will use uh, during the first cycle, you will, um, the patient will have uh, a plasia, they will have hematological toxicity and subsequent infection. Mm -hmm. So during the first cycle, I don't think it will change many things. Um, the most important will be to evaluate this toxicity um, in long term. This work is ongoing, but we already know that even if the venetoclax dose are reduced to seven days um, of ASA, we have significant hematological toxicity because um, we and colleagues have to reduce uh, uh, to, to, to make a further dose reduction. Mm -hmm. Um, in the subsequent cycles. But with this subsequent dose reduction, uh, it's the, the patients are doing well and we don't observe uh, significant to hematological toxicity. That's fantastic. And I think your, your point to the, the results match that of the Valier trial. I mean, very rarely do we reca recapitulate you know, such positive results. I think that's, mm -hmm. that's a really a testament to the work. 
Um, and so, yeah, you mentioned that there was a lot of toxicity. You know, patients even in subsequent cycles had to reduce the dose or reduce the duration of therapy or even add space in between cycles. So should we be doing even more modification of venetoclax? Is there, you know, there's still a lot to learn about this combination, but can you speculate at all, like, yeah. where we might be going from here? Um, I think, the, yes, the, the, the classical scheme um, have, needs modification mm -hmm. because it, it, there is a problem for many physicians and patients. So the problem now with our report is that we have a short follow-up, so we have to yeah. increase it Longer. to be sure that it will be feasible and safe. But to my in my experience, and uh, I, I think it will be, um, we will have to, uh, it, it will be possible to safely reduce the dose and uh, may, maybe uh, to, um, to uh, increase the delay between cycles mm -hmm. and uh, reduce the venetoclax uh, exposure. So I think um, it will be possible, yeah. but to be sure, we have to wait. Yeah. Well, I think it's certainly encouraging, again, to see that, you know, reducing the dose, you can try to get towards reducing toxicity, but still maintain your efficacy. I think that's fantastic. And, you know, you could certainly speculate that, you know, someday it'll be like, you know, the ASA is there, and then there's almost like a dial for the venetoclax based on the patient. You can go up or down on, on mm -hmm. what you need to do. And, uh, you know, work like yours and that so many others are doing will hopefully get us there someday where we can kind of match the therapy or tailor the therapy for the individual. Mm -hmm. and I think that's just so incredibly important. Uh, and... Uh, I think it's so incredibly important, too, that you're focusing on toxicity so much. I, mean, I think that's often overlooked at these congresses, where we look just at the efficacy and don't pay attention yeah. to toxicity. We, we, we know that the Veneza is, effi is efficient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have to improve the skill yeah. um, based on, on the, the, the violated results. So I think we have... Um, um, our report is very uh, promising, yeah. I think so. Yeah, excellent. And, and, and it's when it, there is another point that I did yeah. not mention in the, in the abstract. It's uh, concerning the MRD results. We have some data, but not for all patients. Mm -hmm. But it seems that um, a lot of patients uh, reach uh, flow um, phenotypic uh, MRD uh, negativity. Wow. So it's possible even when you reduce the dose. And another point is um, concerned the NPM1 yeah. uh, mutation. Some patients add um, a follow-up of uh, MR, uh, NPM1 MRD, and um, almost all patients reach from, who have obtained CR after that reach the, the NM, NPM1 uh, negativity in MRD. So oh, wow. it's... It, I was surprised that I did not have the question. Yeah. No, that is, <laughs> sometimes those things surprise you when you're up at the podium. Uh, well, that's really fascinating. And um, so, so was the MRD negativity seen after the first cycle or was it subsequent cycles? Oh, it was um, for some patient, we have few data, but for yeah. some patient after the first cycle, wow. yeah, it's possible. That's so good. even when the, the dose of venetoclax is reduced, so, it's very, very promising, oh. I think. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. So you heard it here first um, that uh, the, the preliminary data is, is ongoing and this, this study continues to bear fruit even beyond the ASH annual meeting, which is fantastic. And so I highly encourage you to read this abstract. It's, it's, it's fantastic work, and I think it, it's going to help better take uh, help us take care of better care of our patients but you don't have to take my word for it you can see this abstract as part of our on-site coverage for ash clinical news as well as this abstract and all the abstracts presented here at the annual meeting at hematology.org well thank you so much for joining me today it's been an thank absolute you. delight and uh, uh until next time uh, uh we'll see you later <laughs>